Hello everyone, Zeno and Zim here, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time we did some jobs, and we're still going to be doing some jobs for a bit. We're going to go to Silent Chasm, because we're actually doing need to do some stuff here, anyways. And hopefully, if the jobs are quick, we should, and we get the next rank up, we should be able to actually quickly get through. Oh God, really? Oh, thank God. Hopefully, if oh God, I am getting distracted by. Your... Oh my god, Ivory. Hopefully, if I am not... Okay, first of all, Gold Ribbon. We really need that. I'm getting distracted so much. Why is it? Why is this happening? Oh great. Now I as well go back to what we're saying. Which is hopefully hopefully this won't be too long. So we can quickly just immediately go to the next dungeon. Cause that dungeon isn't too long and there's no boss, so we don't need to worry about it. Really? Give it a tiny apple. To quote a certain Let's Player in a certain Pokemon Crystal LP. Oh my god, I found a fan pee. Honestly, I was not expecting to find a fan because I don't think that comes. Those things can. Those guys can appear for a long while. Um, by a long while, I don't think it's actually that long as I think it is. I actually never think about it again. Critical hit. Yes, got Teddy or so. Okay. Now this is part of the reason why I decided to do this one instead of any other. Not for quick fate. I need the other ability. I will definitely be coming coming back here. Without need without we more need to just do some grinding just to make make my life at least a little bit easier granted that's My god, I am being distracted so much. I uh, do not know why I am being so ear-headed today. But, then again, that's... Then again, I am currently... Oh, I forgot Fampy can actually, can actually have pickup. Well, that's one Pokemon less that we need to get. I really want Yama, though, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Okay. 
Definitely not now. Uh, and we back to what I was trying to say. The main reason I was going through this dungeon specifically is for pickup. We pick up in Sea Fingers, I think it is. I don't remember what the actual ability is called for Teddy Ursa. I don't think it's actually pick up called pick up for Teddy Ursa, but it's basically pick up. This will make our lives a little bit easier in a required mission for gathering items. Nope, stun seed. So I might as well go, might as well start talking about what's been going on with me. Since my plans apparently go fall through. I haven't been feeling up to recording for a while, so because of feeling headachey, so I've been taking a bit more more of a break so eventually we'll be going back to somewhat of normal probably a two day uh, a two day um, schedule two day schedule two videos per week schedule I should be saying. But it'll take a while before that catches on because I am still headachy. Once it does, things should be fine. I want to at least get a few answers in. But once I've got a backlog, I should be fine. And you shouldn't, you guys shouldn't need to worry. Nope, we still got one more job to do and that should get us our rank up, which is what I am needing. Granted, I am slightly surprised that we haven't ran into a strong foe Metagross. It's usually around this floor back where, usually on the floor before where I suddenly start seeing them. Right, I know they're rare, but hey. Yes, we're escaping. Make this a sort of nice short episode. Yes. Keep at least one out of every Pokemon. Nope, we still need to do more missions. Thankfully. I'm definitely sure about the next set of missions, which we'll be able to do in this episode then. Since... We really need to rank up before we go to Great Canyon. And because it's the only break we'll get. No, it's probably kind of boring, but... Hey, this is, this is the Mr. Engine life, really. Check the mail, natural disasters, recruiting members, and Mount Steel. Now I might as well quickly go over gold, the gold ribbon because this is something that's something that I will always, always go towards. Only useful for selling, but so good for cash. We need if you need a cash injection, get some 
Get us on gold ribbon missions. None of those look actually enticing. Take those two. Yeah, we'll do another dungeon. Yeah, sorry, I'll be... I am literally going to be saving a lot up for... How close are these together? Wonder with Cave. That would actually be kind of useful. Tiny Woods is... Yeah, it's Audit Cave I'm going to go with. So I'm guess we'll be getting more to talk about. All right. Not what I was going to say. It's more of, uh, this is, I wasn't actually expecting to get a gold ribbon there. But I wasn't expecting to get this music. I completely forgot that this. Ugh, Geese Infinity. Why does your soundtrack not be not that good to me? It's, ugh. Honestly, Geese Infinity is probably the worst of the Mystery Dungeon games, and to me, that's a fact. But anyways, away from opinions, <sighs> I am I have actually got some plans in the work for for uh brain work for uh, other LPs. They probably will not be ready for a while. Maybe ready sooner or later. But that's... Oh, that's a really good ability. But anyways, it's... It'll be... So there is going to be stuff in the works, but I'm going to be taking after this LP, which I don't know... Which, well, at least for the main story of the LP, I will be taking a bit of a break. I will be coming back to this immediately. But I do think that I've been pushing myself a bit too... I've been pushing myself... Giving myself less... Uh... Rest than I think I was giving myself LP-wise. This isn't to say that LPing will stop altogether, it's just before people start getting the wrong idea, because people will. This is more just saying that for a little bit, it'll, things will be on pause. And it's not going to be as bad as I'm sort of making out to be. It is literally just going to be probably... A few weeks then post game stuff for this game, some post game stuff for this game, me talking about it, because I am not doing all post game, not because post game is bad, but because post game is a bit of a nightmare honestly, and I honestly, I'm probably only going to do some of the, some of the stuff that has story to it. So, for those of you who know, you probably know which things I'm going, what I'm talking about. If I'm saying story, why are we getting Pokemon? But or just I 
uh, anyways, it, if you guys already know what this, what, Really? You're getting your ass kicked by a Paris. Time to have I That's embarrassing. Like, getting to be by. Oh, you've got to be joking. This is one of the statuses I kind of like but kind of hate. Puppet. Because this loop is a thing. Ah. I hate, hate, hate that that sort of loop is a thing that Pokemon can do. All right, Onyx. Onyx is probably one of the worst Pokemon to start dealing with for a while because of how gigantic they are, especially in this game. In previous games they were still kind of gigantic if I remember, but they didn't take as much space, but now, oh boy, they take up so much space. Oh god, there's an actual sleeping Onyx. No, we're not going back there, we're, we're going forward. We're not waking that thing. We're not waking it. Giant Pokemon also have a special attribute that basically allows them to hit Pokemon. Basically, <sighs> example no one's gonna know about, which is upsetting because it's actually a really good example, but it's, no one's gonna know about it. Uh, if you guys have played. Dragon Quest Monster Joker 2, then you'll know that there are, is a thing in that game called Giant Monsters and they have an ability called Grand Slammer that hits all monsters on the opponent's side. Basically, they have a Grand Slammer. Except this is not a thing in this game, it's not an ability in this game. And giant monsters are a joke in Dragon Quest Monster Joker 2. In this game, Onyx isn't anything else. A giant or large pain in the asses. There's no, there's no other way to put it. There's, there's pain in the asses. <sighs> but with that, there's no trap. Leave half. Yes, because that's a really good ability. We want to keep that. Nope. Yes, you can stay. But I'm not giving you a nickname. Nope. Sorry, Barboach. And that should be... A special band that's actually really good. That'll be good on Ivory, because Ivory's going to struggle soon. Heavy rotation specs. Eh. Rank up from normal to bronze. Camp capacity is at 11, drama at 24. Number of edible teams is raised to 4, and toolbox size is what we wanted at 40. 
PP up drinks is actually really good. We might need those. We also got a Ponsley statue. Oh, we can, we can talk about this. This is actually a new feature, so we can, we're can definitely going to have to talk about this. It's something I really like, but also sort of don't like how they handled it. The gimmick of it is, the gimmick of the statues I like, but, well, but we need to first go over. We'll do that right now, because... Yes, we'll be going today. For you guys, it'll be the next episode. For me, it's probably going to be today. Um, not really useful. I already know this. Or a sprue, just in case, because there's something that can appear. The bonsai statue. No, I, I, I don't want to talk to you, Ivory. There's a statue of Bonsai. The beautiful scenery but ocean breeze. It looks so pleasant. This is not new to this game, but the gimmick of the statue is. In the original, you had to beat all of the Type Maze dojos, I believe. In the dojo. Makita's dojo. This was a difficult task, but also awards you a ginseng, I think. So, it was worth it. In this game, we get four statues for ranking up. Each statue allows us to be able to recruit a Pokemon. Bonsai now can appear in dungeons. I believe it only appears in Sinister Woods because that's where Sinister Widow is. There are other statues. I don't know if we'll see them. If we don't, well, no, I know we will see them, but I don't know if we'll see them. See, see how to collect them, how to achieve them, in this run. Why do I say that? Because to talk about everything I want to, I do need to switch over to my own personal file because I do want to show off all the statues and talk about them and talk about. A certain Pokemon. So those of you who play this game, you know what Pokemon to talk about. But hey, next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, we're going to the Hill of the Ancients, boys, and we'll probably just selling off items in the meantime. See you guys then. Zeno and Zuma of Rescue Team Mystery, signing out.